our previous experience with the clean technology funds is uh, very good. We we had a uh, we started five six years ago with renewable energy projects, wind, solar, uh, hydro. So we got finance from CTF, seventy million dollar. First time we get direct finance through a bank. Normally it's through the government and then the government through the uh, uh, main actors in, in the country. But we got this 70 million. Then we got money, uh, funding money from the Inter-American Development Bank, which is uh, like 350 million. So we took to three-folded that money and invested in, in several projects in these renewable energies for a total investment of 6,000 million dollars. That means that we multiply 70 million almost a hundred times to, to get investments from the private sector, from other banks and from ourselves to a 6 billion investment in project 12 or 13 projects. Just an example of uh, leverage. Now I'm talking about the other. So we started uh, like a year and a half or two years ago with a, with a encouraged by the government because uh, the energy reform was coming to Mexico in, in a big way. So the potential of geothermal is high in Mexico. It's, uh, everyone has its own uh, predictions, 10 gigawatts, 20, whatever. But we have to start with one. So we started uh, to develop a program. We, we applied for more money from CTF. We got uh, 20 million dollars as a, it's not a grant, but it's a money that could be converted to a grant if not successful. So what we will do is leverage that money. We will use that money to ensure the early exploration risk, which is a risk that nobody takes, because it's very costly and uh, very risky. Probabilities are around the 50% uh, success or failure. So in the end, it's like flipping a coin to, to invest in this type of projects. But, but talking about millions of dollars and on a flip coin is very risky. So we'll use that money to do the backup of early exploration on geothermal, which is the first stage. Uh, once you have the, all the uh, geochemical and geophysical studies, then you have to drill, and it's very costly. And it's you know, you can find or not find the resource. So that money will support an insurance product, a policy of one of uh, the main insurers in the world, which is Munich Re. They have a policy but for the thermal, but on, on more advanced stages. So what we do is support with that money that uh, insurance. In case of failure, then we will repay the bank. That, that as well. <laughs> the money we lent for, for that purpose. In the case of success, uh, then that money will be reimbursed because the insurance company will be uh, supporting the next trading you have to do from two to seven uh, holes or wells, uh, two to three kilometers down. So, so once you find the resource, then it's easy to, to, to get uh, more training because you, you have a, a, a more, more center, certainty on the, on the resource. And then, uh, if you are success, then the insurance goes out and then we will finance the whole project as a project finance for you know, uh, <coughs> years. So. so that mechanism allows us to bring the private sector, experience trailers or, 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 or how do you say, uh, to, the, to the picture, but also we will take uh, our resources in Mexico, the, the, it's not a proven resource, but it's very likely that we have a, a whole volcanic axis in, in the middle of the country, so we will encourage this uh, industry to 
develop these type of projects. As uh, Barbara was saying, this is base energy, base load energy, so so it's twenty four seven energy. It's not intermittent like as solar PV or other types of energy. So we feel that this is this will be very competitive uh, cost free energy once you have reached the non risky uh, business.